greetings to another video. Today I am doing a quick spin because I'm doing an Audax this weekend but I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to kind of share what Audax is. Whenever I talk about it I always get questions saying what is an Audax? So today I'm going to share all the details, what Audax is, how you can get involved, I'm going to give you some tips on getting into it and building your endurance and also I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I don't want to do giveaways very often and it's to win a full Cafe de Cycliste cycling kit they very kindly offered one of you uh, the chance to win their Audax specific kit so that's towards the end of the video so now I'm gonna head on I'm just at Ashworth Valley so I'm gonna climb up there and then I'm gonna explain what Audax is very shortly so what is an Audax or Breve or Randonne as they are known internationally it's basically just a long distance cycling event and yeah you go through different um, control points so it's a set route and the main thing with it, it is self-sufficient so there isn't anyone handing you water bottles or giving you food it is a self-sufficient thing it was actually created I think it was like more than hundred years ago now in France as a way to kind of bridge the gap between road racing and touring but yeah the premise of it is that it's self-sufficient and it's a timed event and the timings of the events um, have to include your stop time as well so it's just from the time you set off to the time you get back that is yeah you just have to get back in that time period these range from anything from 50k to 1500 kilometers and the timed limits vary on how long that particular ride is you get these at the start of um, each Audax event and these are like a little little document to show where you've passed through um, and where you've traveled so there'll be different control points on the brevet card to show you what distance they are and then at each of those control points you'll have to prove like basically prove that you've been there so you might get a receipt or take a picture um, and then also there might be information controls I'm not a huge fan of these if I'm honest but basically the information controls on the brevet will say something like you know what um, what's on the signpost at this location or what's the name of the pub on the corner of this road so it's just a way just to prove that you've been there um, so yeah you just have to keep that safe and take it all the way back to the finish with you one of the main benefits of Audaxes are the routes so basically the routes are created by a local club someone that just really knows the area and generally I've not had a bad Audax route because they are just the best way of showcasing that area so normally they are really top incredible routes and they also show you where the best places for a little, little stop are or where the best cafes are for a little bit of cake on the on the route because there's not just one type of event oh no 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 so also excuse me while I just sit in the bush but I just love this spot so yeah the first type of event is calendar event so these are the ones that you will they'll be on a set date you'll turn up other people will be there you'll all set off into the distance riding your Audax together if you want to. Then you've also got permanent events. So perm events are events that you can do any time of the year. So the route will be um, on the website or under the um, individual organiser and you will buy a brevet card, you'll do the route on the day that suits you, you'll send it back and then it'll get validated. So that's another version of it. And then there's also DIY, so you can create your own route. Um, so you'd buy the brevet card, create your own route, and then submit it. So that's another way um, of doing an, an Audax. And the final way is an ECE, which is an extended calendar event, which basically means that you basically ride to the start of a calendar event to, to kind of up the mind. So if you want to do a 300, you would plot your own 100 to the start of a 200. Does that make sense? Just to add a little bit of an extra challenge, if you want one, you can actually do what's called a super randonneur, which basically means that you ride a two, three, four, and a 600K like Audax events in one year or one season. Or you could do a randonneur around the year, which basically means that you ride 200K every single month over a 12 month period. So a little extra challenge if you want one. They are so, so cheap. So they can range from like a fiver. I think the most I've ever paid on a longer event was maybe 12 or 15. And that was because it included accommodation. And before like COVID time and stuff, there's always generally like a little bit of food, a little bit of drinks on before and at the end. And these clubs are all over the world as well. It's not just Europe. So I know there's definitely one in Malaysia, Australia. And I think in America it's called Randonnée. So there is gonna be something for everyone if you do wanna get involved. And there are two main big events that I think most 
board axes want to take part in and they are called Paris Press Paris which is PBP which is 1200 kilometers um, that takes place every four years and then more recently there's one called uh, LEL which is London Edinburgh London which is 1500 kilometers you do have to qualify I think you have to qualify for PBP I'm not sure about LEL but to qualify you have to do a two three four and a six hundred in that year before the event takes place and the main thing that I love about Audax is that there's no like ego in it. Um, people ride just so many different bikes. They've got so many like different kind of bags. Like it's not elitist by any means at all. And people are really welcoming. Like it's not racing. And the other thing that I like about it is that when you like finish the event, no like times are posted anywhere. So it's literally if you get round, then you finish it. And then also if you are someone that is takes a little bit longer to do an event you know like you, you call yourself or you're known as like a, a full value rider which i really like so there's no kind of shame in taking longer to do an event it's just known as being full value meaning that you've got your value for money from it so i thought now i want to share a couple of different tips with you on if you are wanting to get involved so the first thing that i would say is just try it like just give it a go because i think a lot of us like think oh it's going to be a long event can i do it and you just don't know where your limit is until you push yourself so the first thing is just give it a go the second thing that i would say is i guess be prepared to be uncomfortable and push your limits because i know the first time i did a 200 the first time i did a 300 it, it is hard and you are gonna suffer um but you do just become a better rider for that and you push past past your barriers i guess that's another thing another tip would be i guess bike fix i think once you start pushing the bigger numbers that's when any issues might come up um, with your bike fit so that might be something that you need to look at and then finally the last thing that i would say is invest in like nice or comfortable bibs for you it doesn't need to be the most expensive but just a pair and just kit that just feels comfortable because you're going to be in it for a long time um, and that leads me on very nicely actually to the giveaway so yeah cafe de Cicles, who have got this is their audax specific range um have very kindly offered one of you to win a full kit so that's going to be bibs jersey gilet cap and socks and so i'm going to leave a link to it all you need to do is just go in put your details in it, and then i'll just pick someone at random to win the full kit to kind of get you on your audaxing way i guess um, so yeah, thank you so much for them to offering this, like sponsoring this Audax video. Um, I've been wearing it, it is super, super comfortable. This is like a super lightweight top, you don't really feel like you've got it on. And also the bibs, like I'll show you them, I'll show you a little bit of Olay clip, but they are really, really comfy in that there's no like harsh seams on them. So they are just, I don't know, again, you just don't really feel like you're wearing them. So yeah, thank you again to them. And let me know how you get on with your Audax. And if you've got any tips, if you are an Audaxer yourself, leave them in the comments. And if you've got any more questions, leave them in the comments as well. And we'll get them answered. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next video. So you can find all this out on the Audax UK website. Oh shit, sorry. Did you do a London Violet today? Did I, oh no, I did. I went to Whitby and back. Yeah. 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 In the day? Yeah. Well, I'll start a motorbike on the climb. <laughs> <laughs>